When buyers no longer answer their phone and your voicemails and your emails get deleted, how are you expected to generate new business so that you achieve quota? Well, if you accept that going back to basics and smiling and dialing isn't going to take you to where you want to go, don't despair. My name is Michael Harris with Insight Demand and I'm here today to show you that you can win at generating new business. In fact, one of my accounts is booking meetings with one in four targeted accounts. But before I do, let's take a little field trip and visit a typical customer so that you understand why they are so incredibly hard to get in touch with. So, let me introduce you to Alex, your typical buyer. It's 8.20 in the morning, Monday, and Alex arrives at his office late since he's had to drop the kids off at school this morning. For the past 18 months, he's been putting in 60 to 80 hour work weeks, thanks to the corporate reorganization. He now does the work of two people for the same pay. At least he kept his job. Many of his ex-colleagues are still unemployed. As he pours himself a cup of coffee, he anxiously reviews the presentation he finished last night after the kids went to bed. His outlook alarm beeps, only 30 minutes until he presents to the executive committee. Alex's eyes shift to his inbox and he's pleased that today there are only 157 emails. The phone rings, ugh, another interruption. As usual, he lets it roll into voicemail. He stopped answering his phone a long time ago. The phone flashes, 30 email messages, and he just cleared it yesterday? Most were from salespeople. He deleted them all. Why shouldn't he? All the information he feels is available online, when he wants it. And right now, he doesn't want it because he's swamped with work. To survive, Alex knows he can't do everything. And lately, he's been so swamped that he often puts up with the status quo, even when it hurts the company. You see, Alex knows that one more project could be the difference between swimming and sinking. His alarm goes off again. Only 20 minutes until the presentation. Time to clear his inbox and voicemails. As Alex clears his email box, he looks at both the senders and subject lines. His rule of thumb is, if he doesn't know them, or if the subject doesn't address one of his immediate critical business issues, he deletes it. Hmm. Five minutes to his meeting. Alex plays his first voicemail message with his finger on the delete button. Hi, this is Bob Jones. I'm calling today to introduce myself and my company. Delete. So, after hearing that story, does going back to basics and smiling and dialing sound like the best use of your time? We offer a fresh approach that's more intelligent, more effective, and more fun in our new business creation workshop. Yes, the bar has been raised. To win, salespeople must do pre-contact research, create relevant messaging, and put together multiple account entry campaigns. But don't worry, I can show you how to put that together. One of the strategies is for salespeople to send out a maximum credibility proposal. In it, salespeople will include a critical business issue that the buyer is experiencing based on pre-contact research. We also suggest, if possible, including a connection, such as a referral, a contact in the company, etc., and a catalyst event, such as a management change or a regulatory hurdle. Imagine sending out only four maximum credibility proposals and booking one meeting and having it hold? Wow, that's what one of our accounts is doing. So, the choice is yours. You can either make hundreds of phone calls or send out a few letters to achieve the same result. But let me ask you, if you had to pay for the plane ticket to go to that meeting, which meeting would you rather go to? So, what are you going to do? Are you going to invest in the tools and strategies needed so that your team can win new business and so that your company can hit quota? Are you going to go back to basics or are you going to do something else? If you're going to do something else, I strongly urge you to go to our website and look at our new business creation workshop. Alternatively, feel free to give me a call. Whatever you decide, I wish you and your team success. Thank you very much for your time. My name is Michael Harris with Insight Demand.